For Seattle, it's all about confidence. It's about Peyton controlling the tempo. Standing flat-footed. Percy Hawkins. Open shot for Kemp. They force the turnover. Hawkins trying to draw the foul. Again, the outside shot by Kemp. Uses the pick. And Hoffer able to keep it alive. Good luck from Longwood. Bulls with a 6-5 lead. Hawkins. Hawkins on the penetration. Well, George Carl saying after game one, he wanted to see his guards in particular taking it to the basket. Well, Hawkins has two for nine in game one, not asserting himself, and he caught himself that way in the Utah series as well. Yes. He's not anticipating that his player is going to make a move to the basket. He's guarding Longley as if Longley's just going to catch it, stand there, and pass out every time. Uh, here's Kemp. Several opportunities, and they continue to control the boards of Sean Kemp. It's the Sonics nine and the Bulls eight. Now Shrep guarding Hopper. The backdoor pass. Michael Jordan with a second field goal. Bulls by one. Kemp blocked by Pippen. Open three for Jordan. Rodman with the rebound and pops it up. Here's the double team on Shrep and Peyton fires. Hits the three. Seven rebounds for Johnson in just under five minutes in this first quarter. Jordan gets inside. Foul was called on Scotty Pippen. A timeout is taken with 6.43 to go in this first quarter changed the history, the recent history of the NBA. Uh, Michael Jordan said he might not have come back at Pippen without a member of the Bulls. And here is Pippen with a nice break. And just an established enough of a game where a pump fake means anything. Harper rejected by Kent. Good poke away by Perkins as well. Shrep. And that was his first field goal. Sonics lead by one. Good thing for Seattle is how many shot attempts they're getting as Jordan is feeling it perfectly early on. But again, other than it shows you're aggressive, but you got to capitalize. Here's Shrep. Kemp. Oh, what a move by Sean Kemp. Now just playing so disparate, so under control. Jordan. Oh, the fadeaway. Percy Hawkins at the defender. Jordan for Rodman with Peyton back gets it back to Pepper. And back comes Jordan. Pepper putting the move on Hawkins. And hit it. Bulls lead 20 17. Now this is Chicago Bull basketball. Any kind of steal, any kind of missed shot, they want to get out on run. But so far, they look very tired to me. Very heavy leg. But man, it's also Seattle Sonic basketball. Now Scotty Pippen getting out and running, sensing the fast break, making sure he gets down the floor quickly and able to get the throw ahead pass and finish. Uh, Chicago's offense not very crisp, but it's always nice to have this man to bail you out. No pressure on the pass from Pippen. Double team just too slow to get there as Michael turns away from it for that jump shot. And now just taking Hersey Hawkins down to the baseline. Peyton coming way too light as Michael rises in the air. I ran into Gary Payton on the elevator the, yesterday saying, I am not going to take any more of that from Michael Jordan. And it's amazing how much information Matt can pick up on those elevators. <laughs> Payton with the steal and puts it down. Against the balls, giving the ball back to the Sonics. Perkins again working on Wellington. Shrep posting on Rodman. Front clock at five. Here's each other. As Mikowski was leaving, but uh, they spent a lot of time in the offseason. Here's the Kerr who just uh, checked in. Time up and down. Jordan checked the play. And that is too late. Like Here is Coop Coach. And back up the Sonic. Peyton in the open floor. Putting the move on Kerr. Here on oh, Gary Payton. A rare Seattle turnover. Hopper from deep. Yes. Hawkins with the head 
fake. Brown wanted to travel. Hawkins with a beautiful move. Uh, you can see the mindset of Hersey Hawkins. Not going to just stay out and, and work that three-point line and attack the rim every chance he gets. Hersey, a native of Chicago, telling us his Bushler is able to hit after the and Snow on the floor for George Carl. Here it is Snow rejected easily by Longley. Uh, just 43 games started, worked only 300 minutes. Hopper will go to the line. Chicago's getting Seattle with the edge on the boards. Sonics with a one point lead. Open shot for Hopper. It's a three for Ron Hopper. Percy Hawkins. Candidly uh, had an interesting appraisal of his teammate Frank Perkowski said that he's very good at bringing out the worst <laughs> in people Scotty Pippen getting to the lane poor closeout by Sean Kemp That's where George Carl thinks this whole situation is developed with Perkowski and try to save people like Sean Kemp from committing those fouls. Well, some pressure by Chicago did not work. Hawkins was in. 0 for 1 from the field. And six rebounds for Rodman. Bulls lead by three. We're just under five minutes to go. First half. Hawkins with the room. Four minutes to go in this first half. And the game is tied at 39. Still indicating uh, play through it. Short oh, kick. Oh. Oh. He posterized <laughs> Scotty Pippen by Chicago. 11 turnovers now for the Bulls. Here's the move by Jet serving up a facial, which is enjoyed by the Sonic bench. 2.55 remaining first half, and the game is tied. Again, Hopper open. Won't get it. Blocked shot is the call. And I'll tell you why. That shot was way short. Crowd doesn't like it. Even though this thing is on the way down, it is short of the rim. Good not call by the referees. You got to give it a chance to hit the rim, though. This, this ball might have scraped the bottom of the rim. Michael now 5 of 10 from the field. Leads the balls with 13. Hawkins for Seattle, and it was all individual play. Now everybody involved. Kerr, yes. Steve Kerr created by himself with a quick release. And it cuts it to a one-point Seattle lead. Perkins foul hit hard by Sally. And Jordan for three. Out of 10 seconds in the half. Kukos beating Perkins, fighting Kerr. Final seconds. Kerr forced it up. And that is the end of the first half. As this third quarter gets underway. Rick Longley with a nice dish from Michael Jordan. By three. There's Sean Kemp with a series of moves rejected by Longley. Schrepp for three. Yes. Hopper for three. And Rodman with a nice tip. I really think taking the shrimp off of Jordan has freed up his mind to concentrate on offense. Jordan over Hawkins. Foul out in six minutes, eight minutes, ten minutes. So be it. Harris can quick release with Longley moving. Hawkins. And Lockett with the box out. Terrific outlet, Rodman. Pepper gets. Now well, Dennis Rodman made that. And the ball is on the run. Now they get back. Pippen for three. Rodman with the save, but he stepped out. Oh, Bradley pushed out to the foul call. And you see Shrimp with the light touch on Rodman. Welcome back to the United Center in Chicago. Look at the hustle by Dennis Rodman a moment ago, and then uh, Dennis saying, so have you read my book? <laughs> Jordan. And kept alive by Rodman. 
Oh, Pippen with a beautiful delivery leading to the foul. Of their own defensive board, and Sam Perkins did not call the flagrant foul. The similarity, though, referees won it. Trap with a bad pass, and here's Pippen with the breakaway. Pippen, that's his third. Vincent Askew getting set to uh, check back in as you get another look at uh, Kemp. Brown noted as a defensive specialist. His fifth year out of New Mexico State. Dennis Rodman has turned it around off the boards in this third quarter. He has 13 rebounds, seven of the 13 in the third. Scotty Pippen. Rodman again. What is Sean Kemp doing? John Kemp, who's got to spend delay the presence of Dennis Rodman off the boards, providing an impact for Chicago. Rodman here in the third quarter, eight points and eight rebounds. It's Rodman again with the tip. The Bulls, those last two possessions, you've got to get in the game. Don't let the fatigue get to you. You have this game in hand, but he said, don't forget. Mark Rodman has found his rebounding rhythm. In the first game and a half, he was jumping three times for every rebound he eventually got. In the third. Well, that's amazing. We had seen it just a few minutes ago. Didn't even want to look at the basket. Now he comes out of that timeout. I wonder what all is here. timeout has now ignited the Chicago Bulls in this crowd with the deep three from the right corner and then Scotty Pippen on the defensive end just come blind sides Vincent Askew looks to the crowd says lift me higher and then Jordan in transition Sonics failing to get back I think he got Dennis right at the uh, Pearl Jam and Sydney. Well, Michael drifted outside, and that's the end of the third quarter. Pippen, but recovered. Shot clock, down to three. It's slipping by Kukos for Rodman. One off the all time record for the NBA Finals held by the Big E, Elvin Hayes. Wow! They don't expect much from him, but he always just keeps it there with a great attitude. For the, uh, for the travel, the up and down, but. But he was Rodman and Kukos. With seven and a half remaining in the fourth quarter, a series of moves attempted by Longley leading to this. Yes, and it counts. A 7 0 run by the Sonics since that Chicago 13 point lead. Jordan. Michael Jordan able to penetrate. Brown looking for the steal. Rolls 82. Sonics 74. Here's Pete. Right back. Bigger players of Chicago, he gets in nothing but trouble. Only. Uh, and even that time, Luke Longley had inside position, just not able to get up high enough in the air. Shrep. Yes. And Rod Hopper is back on the Chicago face. Rodman block. And that is number five. Here's another look. A terrific look away pass by Michael Jordan. The Sonics would love to go back to Seattle tonight and one apiece. We come up on four minutes remaining the fourth. Yes, and it counts. Was, was a good look. They just can't make any of them. And now three of 14 from three point range. Shot clock is out of two, out of one. Hopper. Just didn't get it away. Bulls keep it alive. And Jordan draws the foul. Bulls lead 88 81. Shrek with the fake. Not able to hit on a running hook. Kemp is there. Hopper got picked off by Kemp. And we get the whistle for.
from Hugh Hollins and a foul against the ball. Phil Jackson senses it and gets better free throw shooters, two coach and Carroll, ready to come in. Even though they were scrambling and broken down there, Harper did a pretty decent job of forcing shrimp. Bulls in no hurry here. Six on the 24, and Kerr fires for three. Rocking with the offensive rebound, and that ties an NBA Finals record. 11 on the offensive glass for Rodman, and that was a big one. Foul is called. This rebounded, which put him in the record book with Elvin Hayes, the Big E, the Hall of Famer. You got to go right and get that quick foul, get the clock stopped. Well, did you see how quickly Dennis Rodman... <laughs> It's one of two. Bulls lead 91 86. And the Sonics will use their final timeout for the quick three. Shrek and Payton. Kemp. Kemp, 11 of 14 at the line. Seattle have to make this free throw, get the quick steal or foul immediately. Again, the pressure by the Sonics. This time, Pippen will try to inbound. Jordan gets it back to Pippen. And Hawkins call for the foul. The playoffs, but so far in this series, much better until the to the Seattle front court. As Pippen misses on both Rodman. Able to get a jump ball out of him. His inside arm. Now let's see. Well, he'll need a hat trick. And it's controlled by Jordan. And now the foul with three and seven ten seconds remaining. Oh. Now Rodman missing, only three and seven tenths seconds to go in the fourth. And Rodman is able to hit for a four-point lead. Perkins fires it down for Shrimp, and that will do it. The Chicago Bulls escape with the victory.